Hi friend, today I am going to calibrate an aroid type as signal manometer. It has 5 part an aroid gauge, an IV pickup, hose connector, inflation bulb and pressure release valve. Now you can see the range of the DUC is 0 to 300 mmHg and the list count is 2 mmHg. I am using Rigal Unisim light as a master. I have connected the master and DUC by using Y type connector. One end of Y type connector is connected with master. Second end is connected with android gauge and inflation valve and the third end, end is connected with NIV pickup. Now we select manometer mode in our master. I have pressed F3 key, scroll down to manometer mode and select this by, by using F4 key. Now you can see the display is showing 0.0, .0 mmHg. You can change the unit by using the right and left keys. If the display is not showing 0, then we can get 0 by pressing F3 key. For starting the calibration, we will tighten the pressure release valve so that the air cannot leak through the valve. Now, we will start taking reading at pre-decided point of calibration in increasing and decreasing order. We start giving pressure by using inflation bulb up to first point of calibration and write down the reading and again rise the pressure up to the last point simultaneously and also record the reading at each point of calibration. After completing the reading in increasing order of pressure, now we start reading in the decreasing order of pressure. For this, we start releasing pressure by using the pressure release valve and record the reading at each point of calibration in decreasing order. Now, as you can see, we are releasing the pressure by loosening the pressure release valve as the, as the pressure is decreasing. Now you will take the reading at 200 mmHg as these are our pre-decided point of calibration. Again, we are decreasing the reading up to 100 mmHg and again we will take the reading at 100 mmHg. Again, we start decreasing the pressure up to the 50 mmHg and again we will take reading at 50 mmHg. Now we will fully release the uh. Now we have start releasing the pressure after releasing whole air we will get some error or might be zero if it is not zero there then there might be some hysteresis error which will be further used in the un uncertainty calculation of the reading for uncertainty calculation and the other calibration video of any devices like biomedical devices or industrial devices please write to us and please like our video comment and subscribe Thank you for watching the video, please like, comment and subscribe. Thank